peace, blessings, and love to you and your families. And may your Howell bless the Cincy as always. So in this video, we're going to talk about how us who serve the Most High Yahweh, us who honor His name and believe in all that is being revealed to us, there is surely a future hope for us. And Yahweh says that our hope will not be cut off. Now I was going to name this video The Darkening Hills, but some videos, the Spirit is on me to talk about the judgment that comes upon our people. And so in this video, we're going to also speak about that, but we're going to talk more on the fact that the Most High Yahweh, He's basically going to bless all of those who honor Him. They are going to be the ones who are going to be living in His presence. You know, they're going to be the ones to understand the times that we're living in, the prophecies, all of the hidden things that are being revealed to them. I appreciate the brothers and sisters who take time to watch these videos. Even those who may not agree with everything I say in my videos, but you know, they may watch my videos because I bring out some points that they like. You see, all of this is happening because you are being brought to the mountain of Desire One. This is what the Most High Yahweh said that He was going to do with His people. You were going to be chosen to go under that rod of correction, to be refined, and you will be written in the Book of Life if you do understand these things and acknowledge the times that we're living in. That is the plan and that is your reward. That's the reason why judgment, salvation is happening simultaneously. These things are going to happen. They're happening every day that we wake up. So Ezekiel 21 and 9, Son of man, prophesy and say, This is why Yahweh says, A sword, a sword sharpened and polished, sharpened for the slaughter, polished to flash like lightning. Why? The scriptures of the face of Yahweh which is his word, right? The word is the face of Yahweh. It emits lightning. It sparks. The face of Yahweh is like iron glowing in the fire. You see that? So this sword is considered to be the judgment of the Most High. In other words, the punishment that is coming from Yahweh. That's the reason why this scripture starts off saying, this is why Yahweh says, tell them this is why Yahweh says, because the word of Yahweh's power. The word of Yahweh is gonna come to pass. So it says that this sword is polished to flash like lightning. Shall we rejoice in the scepter of my royal son? The sword despises every such stick. See that? Just like they say, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Well, so that's the reason these nations, these people who hold their belief in high esteem they're going to be the ones to get cut down with the sword of Yahweh. You see, their belief, what they defend themselves with, are these sticks here. So it says that the sword despises every such stick. Remember what the straw has to do with grain? So the word of Yahweh is grain to us, and everything else out there is straw. Furthermore, look what it says about the sword. The sword is appointed to be polished. To be grasped with the hand. What is the hand? Let's go ahead and show you. In Deuteronomy 33 and 27, so it says, The eternal Yahweh, the eternal God, is your refuge. Like it says in Proverbs 18 and 10, The name of Yahweh is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. So that's what it means. The eternal Yahweh, who lives forever, is your refuge. As long, as long as you calling on His name, as long as you honoring His name, worshiping Him with good intentions, putting your hand to the plow with good intentions, as long as you're doing this, He got you. So it says, as long as you honor in the Most High, He will be your refuge. You know, He will be your fortress, your hiding place. That's why the Most High Yahweh, you know, He tells His angels to go and tell Noah to hide himself in his name. When you read about that in the book of Enoch or the book of Noah. So, again, this is what it says. The eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. He will drive out your enemies before you, saying, destroy them. You see that? So that's why it says that 
The sword is appointed to be polished, to be grasped with the hand. Okay, so now you understand why it says that it is a dangerous thing. It is a dreadful thing to fall in the hands of the Most High, right? Because we know who are his hands. And so it says that this sword is going to be grasped with the hand. It is sharpened and polished, made ready for the hand of the slayer. Who is the slayer? How Yahweh's garments will be stained crimson, right? How Yahweh said that it was the day of vengeance in his heart. The year to redeem had come. So it says it's made ready for the hand of the slayer. The hand of the slayer. So Yahweh is the slayer, right? But he's going to use his hands to do the judgment. Furthermore, it says, Cry out and wail, son of man, for it is against my people. It is against all the princes of Yasharal. They are thrown to the sword along with my people. Therefore, beat your breast. See that? As we read in previous videos in the past, Yahweh says that he's going to destroy two-thirds of his people. We read that in Ezekiel the ninth chapter where the man clothed in linen and the others who are following him, right? All these scriptures go hand in hand. So these are the times that we are living in. Furthermore, look what it says. Testing will surely come. And what if even the scepter, which the sword despises, does not continue? Declares the sovereign Yahweh. See that? So this is why the Most High Yahweh, you know, he tells our people, all of you who come to the throne of David, right, to administer justice. We don't have to bring that out, but that's in Jeremiah. I'm just roughly quoting it. You brothers and sisters know what scripture I'm talking about. So that's the times that we're living in. Okay, we're living in the times where people, you know, they want to rule in wickedness. They want to, you know, build Tezion with bloodshed. So the Most High Yahweh says that this is not going to happen. Okay? This is not going to happen. These people, you know, who want to rule Tezion, who want to be the leader of Yasharal, they all are bent on bloodshed. All right? That's why the Most High Yahweh says the way of peace, they, they do not know. They have turned them into what? Crooked roads. Do we have to get that scripture? That's in Isaiah. Right? So, proven to you that this is talking about now, the mindset of our people. So then, son of man, prophesy and strike your hands together. Let the sword strike twice, even three times. It is a sword for slaughter, a sword for great slaughter, closing in on them from every side. So that hearts may melt with fear, and the fallen be many. I have stationed the sword for slaughter at all their gates. Remember that? What is the gates? That's your mindset. Your mindset. This is the reason why. Jeremiah 6 and 16. This is why Yahweh says, Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient paths. Ask where the good way is and walk in it. And you will find rest for your souls. But you said, we will not walk in it. I appointed watchmen over you and said, Listen to the sound of the trumpet. But you said, we would not listen. So that's what's going on right now. The people want to continue to follow in the stubbornness of their evil ways. Okay? Now we're going to read Ezekiel 21 and 16. Slash to the right, you sword, then to the left, wherever your blade is turned. I too will strike my hands together, and my wrath will subside. I, Yahweh, have spoken. So when Yahweh says that he's going to strike his hands together, that is the part that you read about in Ezekiel, the ninth chapter. Okay? Proverbs 23 and 15. My son, if your heart is wise, then my heart will be glad indeed. So that's the reason why the Most High Yahweh created that first spirit to teach the people what was right. So that a brotherhood can be created amongst hu the human race. 
And so the watchers despised that. They did not want that. And that's why they try to create their own thing, which it succeeded. That's the reason why we have religion here on this earth to this day. See that? So the Most High, he was creating a group of people that were all going to honor him. All right? Different people from different languages, but all coming together to honor the one true living God. When the Most High Hour fills you with this wisdom, your heart becomes wise. Yahweh says that He's going to rejoice in you. Because why? Because you're not doing the things that these other people out there are doing. These people who are walking in crooked roads. The people who are stumbling on the darkening hills. Furthermore, my inmost being will rejoice when your lips speak what is right. Do not let your heart envy sinners, but always be zealous for the fear of Yahweh. See that? Because, like I always said, and I will continue to say this through the spirit of Yahweh, I fear the Most High. It is the reason why I get up in the morning and thank the Most High Yahweh for another day. It is the reason why I come on here and make videos and do what I do for the Most High Yahweh. Because I fear the Most High. I don't just say that, you know, how some people, yeah, I fear God, but then they are always testing Him. They are always doing, you know, things that the Most High Yahweh said not to do. So that's the reason why Yahweh is telling us to stay true to us, right? Like we read in the book of Enoch, that they may stay upon the name of Yahweh. So that's what it means. Do not let your heart envy sinners. Okay? These sinners out there, they don't know what's right. These people out there, you know, their hearts are far from the Most High, but their mouth claims to know God, right? And we know that they're not right. So us who are zealous for the fear of Yahweh, us who actually tremble at His word, we know what is right, like it says here. In Isaiah 66 verse 5, hear the word of Yahweh, you who tremble at His word. See that? Not everybody tremble at His word. It says, your own people who hate you and exclude you because of my name have said, let Yahweh be glorified, that we may see your joy. Yet they will be put to shame. You see that? Because these are the same people, right, that say, Oh, yeah, yeah, you will have peace. No sword will come to your land. But what Yahweh says also, it says that these same prophets who are proclaiming peace, well, sword and destruction shall come to them. So you see how they're going to be put to shame for hating us. Remember, this is what's going on in these times and in these days. Yahweh spoke about this long ago, and now it comes to pass. See how the word of Yahweh is his face because we're actually seeing these things. You see that? You see the word and so you see it happening. Your own people who hate you, you see that? They hate us. Don't ever get it twisted. All right? And that's not for the sincere brothers and sisters, those who have been, you know, there through the spirit of the Most High, supporting each other, supporting me. It's not for them. It's talking about these people who hate all of us that are here together, that Yahweh brought together. They hate us. They exclude us. Because some of them people call on Yahuwah. They say, oh, those people are calling on Yahweh, not Yahuwah. Oh, those people are calling on Yahweh, not Yahweh. Oh, it's just Yah, not Yahweh. You see that? Many different reasons why these people out there exclude us. But then they claim to be Yasharalites, they claim to, you know, know everything about the Most High. See that? That's what it means here. These same people who exclude us because of His name have said, Let Yahweh be glorified, that we may see your joy. Yet yeah, they're going to be put to shame. Because Yahweh doesn't care if you think that it's Yah, Yahuwah, Yahweh. His name is Yahweh. Let's hear this again, all right? Hear the word of Yahweh, you who tremble at His word. The Most High Yahweh says that His name is going to be great. He don't have to have people like you out there who don't believe in His name. But again, you want to go ahead and criticize His name. No, 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 it's Yah. Oh, no, the Hebrew letter is this and that. Who cares about that? Yahweh's name 
is going to be glorified. Do you see that? All that extra stuff? That's exactly what it is. Extra stuff. At the end of the day, Yahweh. That's his name. Praise his name. Okay? Now, furthermore, look what it says here. Hear that uproar from the city. Hear that noise from where? From the temple. See that? A temple. It's a people before place. Oh, you thought it was that place over there in Israel. Oh, you thought it was somewhere in Saudi Arabia, right? No. The temple is a people. And so that's the reason why you read this now in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9. Where it talks about slaughter, the old, the young, starting with the men who were, who were in front of the temple. You see that? You see that? You hear that uproar from the city? That says, it is the sound of Yahweh repaying his enemies all they deserve. So they think that they're, you know, going through these things in vain. They're not going through these things in vain. For the punishment will not be in vain. They're going through these things because they are the enemies of Yahweh. Because they choose to not believe the things that are being revealed to them. See that? That is the reason why it will be accounted to them as a sin. See that? For the remainder of their time that they're here on this earth. It will continue to be a sin to you. So, us who know what is right. It says, do not let your heart envy sinners. Because... Remember, it's a wicked kingdom. The sinners think that they're getting away with it. You know, they think that, oh, yeah, you know, the Most High haven't struck me yet. He's on my side. The Most High, he, he, you know, he's happy with what I do. I call him Yah. I call him Yahuwah. I call him Yahweh. And that's that's his name. You see that? So they feel secure. But the Most High Yahweh says that only a fool feels secure. Because the fool says in his heart, there is no Yahweh. 